During the start of the Industrial Revolution, the world was radically transformed by phenomenal economic growth, the development of new markets, changes in the transportation of goods, and improved global communications. Key inventions such as James Watt's steam engine, John Kay's flying shuttle, Richard Arkwright's water frame, and Samuel Crompton's mule were crucial in the production of cheap manufactured goods which substantially improved the lives of consumers throughout Europe. Along with the cheap production of consumer goods, roads continued to improve thanks in part to the growth of turnpike roads and the development of railroads changed the shape of train, changed the face of transportation forever. These remarkable improvements in tra transportation and production meant that an increasing number of consumers in Europe could fill their homes with more furniture, cabinets, porcelain, and decorative objects, which, which would have been previously reserved for only the most affluent of families. Along with increasing production and transportation of consumer goods, the Industrial Revolution saw impressive demographic changes and medical advancements which profoundly improved European living standards. For instance, between 1700 and 1800, the population of Europe increased more than 70%, from 105 million people to 180 million people, and during the 19th century, it doubled to 390 million people. Medical advancements play a significant role in this increase, and diseases such as smallpox, which had killed more, more people than any other disease in history, saw a sharp decline in its deadliness due to the English physician Edward Jenner's smallpox vaccine. Over time, physicians developed vaccines that prevented sickness and death from polio, tetanus, typhoid, whooping cough, and many other diseases that once plagued humankind. Imagine life today without crucial life-saving vaccinations. Also, next time you throw on one of your nice Adidas hoodies, remember that it was probably made by newly industrial nations such as Vietnam and Cambodia. Okay, thank you.